Starting on a new sign here, this is going to be a five color sign for my daughter's garden area. We're applying some Aura Mask to a piece of cedar, and it's really important to make sure that your piece is perfectly clean before doing this. So we're going to get that all clamped in, and then we're gonna zero one time. This will be the same zero point for the entire project. It's important to not change that. We're using the RC-45711 90 degree V insert bit. This is a super cheap bit, and as cleanly as it carves, uh, it's a bit that absolutely everybody should own. So we're just carving in her name here, and then the bottom will say garden, and then we can get the actual flower going, and that's where all the color is going to be. So there's going to be five different colors going on in here, and we'll put the masking in between each color. We do sell the Ore Mask 813 on our website, so you can definitely check that out as well. And then we're going to be using General Finish's Milk Paint for this. This is the emerald color. The Milk Paint is quite a bit thicker than other paints that I've used. It's water-based and dries super fast. So because it is water-based, I can use a damp cloth to just remove the excess from the Ore Mask, and this will give me a nice clean contact area to apply another layer of mask over the top of that. Again, it's important to make sure that you press it down all the way and get a nice seal on there. A lot of people have issues with that mask coming up, but as you can see here, it holds really fine detail extremely well. So we're gonna add that next color. So the sun glow from General Finishes, it will all be the milk paint, and then it cleans up really pretty easily. Then we can add another color on top of that after applying a third layer. So now we're at three layers, and again, the Z0 has not changed at all. As you're adding layers of mask, it will increase the Z height. However, the piece of wood has not changed height at all, so that will all stay the same. So we're gonna add the third color. This is a persimmon color, which is a kind of orange color, and then wiping everything off again and applying mask. So we're gonna do the same thing with a red color and get this one going as well. So this is the fourth color and still carving really clean. We get the red painted on. Once it's dry, wipe it off, and then do the same for the final color. And this is carving through five layers of mask and still getting a super clean carve. Like I said, this is definitely a bit that I think everybody should own. So we got that all painted with a blue color and then we can get the piece pulled off the CNC. This is easily the most satisfying thing, seeing all of the colors come out of the piece as we pull the mask off. And pulling the mask off is always satisfying, but to see all the different colors is really pretty cool. So there was a tiny bit of bleeding with the mask uh, on the green and red color, but unless you're really, really looking for it, you don't notice it at all. So it all pulled off really nicely. I use a little hook weeding tool that we also sell on our website to help pull that off. As always, just writing a message on the back for my daughter, and this is what it looks like without finish. Again, really happy with how this turned out. I've never done a five color sign or even a three color sign before and couldn't be happier with how it turned out. So I'm using Helmspar Urethane. It's an outdoor finish on this piece and it gives a really nice look to it. Super happy with how this came out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Definitely let us know what you think in the comments and we'll catch you guys back out here in the next one. Have a great day everybody. Stay safe out there.